Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at how to earn FIFA coins in Ultimate Team. Um, so yeah, before you start earning money, you're going to need some money. Um, the easiest way to do this is by playing some matches just, just to get your first bit of coins because you're going to need some coins. Um, but the best way is to press the right analog stick in when you're in Ultimate Team and it will automatically bring the Ultimate Team section of the catalog up so as you can see the coin boosters which everyone probably already knows about just make sure you've got these on because well make the thousand ones so you're going to get an extra thousand coins per match for five matches with that one five matches with that one ten matches with that one so it's yeah it's good to have those on i mean just for the five match one you'll you're going to get roughly around seven and a half to eight thousand coins just for playing five matches so that's really, really good. Um, it's a good start to getting a few coins, what you're going to need to start off with. Um, second of all, I'd suggest once you have built your team up and you have opened like a few packs, you get packs for free when you start. Um, maybe they're not the best players ever. Maybe some bronze, some silver, it's fine. But instead of them going to waste, if you go into your team, which I have two teams, so I have my starting 11 and then my bench is my second team starting 11, never do subs, I just put them there for fitness, um, so I never need a fitness card, and then there's always a last spot at the end, I use this because obviously all my players I use are either on the bench or on the pitch, so this last spot is ideal for searching players in my club that are not in my team, so I obviously know I don't need them. Obviously, you can't sell loan players, but we've got Bravo here. Don't need him. My Premier League team's got Butland, who's pretty quality, so if we put Bravo here, we can list him on the transfer market. I bought him for 1200 Let's see how much he is now. See him going. Um... Yeah, I'm going to sell him for, I, I don't want to lose any money, so I'm just going to sell him for 1300 so when the FIFA tax comes, then I'm still going to have um, my money back, so 1300 and then even if it takes an hour to sell, it doesn't matter, it's probably not going to take an hour to sell, but there we go, list on transfer market. And it doesn't matter if the bronze, silver, or gold is fine. Just just sell them on the transfer market. Give it a little while, and they will sell. So, as you can see, I did the same with Slimini. Um, yeah. So that's basically a good way to get your first lot of coins. Um, I'd recommend getting. At least, I'd say like 10,000 coins before you even start with the next part of the video. Um, as soon as you've got 10,000 coins in the bank, then then you're good to go. It shouldn't take you long at all. Just five matches and sell your spare players and that should easily be a 10,000. And then you're ready to go. Hey guys, so... Now you have your 10,000 coins saved up, um, we're going to use a little method called sniping. So we're going to snipe some players off the market and try and earn a little bit of profit from them. Um, so my player choice is Marcus Rojo, um, pretty popular player, um, there's a lot of Manchester United fans so a lot of people are after him. So what you've got to bear in mind is he's selling for roughly 2,400 at the lowest. Um, you might be able to get him on the odd time for 2,300. So roughly around there. So if we was going to sell him for 2,300 to beat everybody else, um, we need to work out what they FIFA 
tax would be on that. So yeah, thief take five percent of any sale. So you couldn't just buy them for, I don't know, say two thousand two hundred, and then selling for two thousand two hundred and keep your same amount of money because you would lose five percent. Um, that's just how it works. So say we were going to sell him for two thousand four hundred, for example. Yeah, say we're going to sell him for two thousand four hundred. We we would then need to work out how much we need to buy him for. So we need to take away five percent. And see what that would be. So take away five percent from two thousand four hundred. What would that be? 2,280. Okay, yeah, so we need to get him for at least 2,280 for to even get our money back. To even, yeah, to even get our money back. So we, we want to be earning at least 100 coins. So if we bought him for 2,200, we'd earn 80 coins. So if we try getting him for 2,100, okay, so 2,100 and selling him for 2,400 with a 5% FIFA tax, we are going to earn 180 coins still, which is not bad going. Sorry, it took me so long to work that out, I was just brain frazzled. Um, so anyway, a lot of people will make the mistake here of searching for the player, no result, Searching, searching, like so. Y A Y A Y A. Triangle X if you're on PlayStation, whatever. And that's not going to work because for it to register as a new search, you have to change something. So the best way to do that is set your max price to 15 million on the bids. Um, search and knock it down each time. This should open. And there we go, buy and assign. So we've just bought him for 2,000. Assign now. And then send him to um, our, our transfer list. Ah, oh, it's expired. Okay, so now we have him. We pay 2,000 for him, we know this. Um. Oh, sorry guys, I sent him to my club. Uh, <laughs> what an idiot. Okay. Let me just... Get him out of my club. Alright, there we are. Right, 1,400, no, 2,400, sorry, not 1,000. Put this up to 2,000 so nobody can make any sneaky bids. And list. Okay, so when that sells, we'll have earned a profit of... 280 coins just for that simple buy and sell and 280 coins simple as that you can do this over and over and over and over and over again as long as you can keep buying the players selling them for a profit like that like 280 coins and it took me what it was so fast to just buy him and then when he's on the market you just leave him there it's fine he will sell um so yeah it's pretty pretty easy like the time it takes to, to, to do a match even with a booster on earning what a maximum of like 1500 1600 per match with boosters on um yeah you're gonna like maybe like even earn like 10 10 grand 15 grand maybe even more just just in the time it's gonna take you to do that match so i really recommend you practice this um yeah it's super super easy um there we go buy another oh no expired that's all right though but you can see it is so easy and 
yeah it just takes a little bit of practice getting fast with the buttons so don't don't feel like oh this is not going to work when you come across a few players you might not actually get the players because someone will beat you to it like um someone's beat me to the last one so there is a lot of other people doing this but yeah just just go with it because you will get better you will get faster at the buttons um i'm still not very good with the buttons still getting a bit used to it but yeah i did figure out it's a really good way to earn money um so yeah i hope this video helps you all and yeah please comment like subscribe if you did like this video and you want to see more videos like this um comment with any any videos you'd want me to do um, any requests any questions yeah I'm, I'm always looking for a new video and i want to know what you guys like to see so yeah it would be, um, be really appreciated if you could do that so yeah thanks thanks again for watching i hope this video helped i hope you all uh, hundreds of thousands of FIFA coins get the team you need and send me some pictures send me some screenshots i don't know tell me tell me in the comments what players you managed to buy from the help of this video and yeah good luck and goodbye